And if you start working together, here are some success stories of what could happen. This story comes from Port Townsend, Washington, just north of Seattle, uh, where in 2007, they created something called Lion, the Local Investment Opportunity Network. It basically is a po monthly potluck dinner. People come together, both local businesses, local investors, and they build relationships. And this simple act of relationship building has led to a million dollars per year in new local investing in a town of 10,000 people. Another thing you can do is change the law because one reason people invest in big corporations is that the law favors them. In the United States, we made some changes in the law to favor investment crowdfunding. I took this picture from the Rose Garden when President Barack Obama signed in the Jobs Act. And since then, uh, since crowdfunding was effectively legalized, investment crowdfunding, not donation crowdfunding, since it was legalized in 2016, more than a million Americans have put a billion dollars into grassroots small businesses. The average investment is $800. The average business is raising nearly $300,000. And the most successful entrepreneurs have been women and people of color, those that the marketplace have traditionally overlooked. A third example, in Baltimore, a friend and I put up a very simple website called the Maryland Neighborhood Exchange in order to help Baltimore residents identify which businesses are being crowdfunded. So if you want to invest in a Baltimore company, Go to this, go to our site, and we'll quickly make that available to you. We reckon that we've helped to steer over the past year $3 million to 36 businesses, most of them run by BIPOC entrepreneurs. And the last example that I want to give is education. We think, at least in the United States context, there are tools that people can use to localize their pension funds. They're called self-directed IRAs and solo 401ks, and a group of us put up uh, a website called The Next Egg that brings in uh, several hundred people who are trying to do this to support and educate one another around this. So my bottom line about all of this is that local investment is important. It can reshape our communities, and there are very simple ways you can get it done.